Hello everybody, it is Wessel Roof 101 here, and I'm back. Squad Battles Rewards. Now, last week's, unfortunately, uh, the video did have its issues. It is appearing on my preview right now that this video is looking fine at the moment, so hopefully that continues in that uh, direction. So this week, we had a horrible week. I only played one game, I believe, so I only finished Rookie. technically be a squad battles rewards video the focus is really on the rest of it so we get like 750 coins plus the jersey and then the packs is where we're getting these so we have two base packs from squad battles we have a choice pack for an 86 overall winter national that i had received at the end of the uh challenges if you got 20 challenges done I have a gold collectible, not like that's really exciting, but I just figured I'd leave it. I got an untradeable prime pack that has 10 items, at least of them are five, at least five of them are players, I mean, and at least three of those five players are gold, and at least two of the five players are going to be NHL players. Then I also have the Jumbo International Choice Pack for juniors, so that'd be three choice, three players, and I get to choose which one. And then if their national squad gets uh, placement in the medals, I believe it'd be a plus one overall if they win bronze, plus two if they win silver, and plus three if they win gold. So here's to hope and I can maybe get Alexis Lafreniere and uh, go for Canada getting the gold. So we'll start with the base packs since they are technically the least valuable packs here. Uh, we'll go with the reveal all and we have nothing special, 400 coin bonus and then some players for sets. So then we have another base pack. We'll just open the whole thing here. And again, just players for sets. So then we're gonna move on collectible since that's a guaranteed item. Get the guaranteed item out of the way. Untradeable gold collectible, send that to my collection. That'll be for later use. Um, so I'm gonna go with the choice 86 overall winter national so i get louis erickson michael granlin or mikhail granlin marcel gawk or gotch brian kessler and mark edward vlasic okay so i can choose to upgrade my defense or i can go for a forward so louis so let's see, left, 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 right, left. Okay, so in terms of forwards, if I want a right-handed, it's gotta be Kessler. Um, I've got a good face-offs. Actually, let's pull up their synergies, see. Um, okay, so Gotch or Gawk here has uh, the best match in terms of synergies, but in the end, does that really matter that much? Um, hmm. Like, I feel like either of these players could be a good one. But I feel just because, usually for me, I don't know why. I don't know why Granlin's considered better than most of them. See at the top how his dot's shiny and the rest aren't, even though they're all the same overall? Hmm. Maybe it's because his stats are better than the other ones. So as, anyway, as I was saying, I feel because I u when I upgrade my team, I usually leave defense out more often than not. So with that, I might go with the Vlasic just to bolster up my defense because I did pick the Aaron Ekblad out of the Christmas pack. One of these guys could help with penalties right now. Hmm. And I'll go with the Vlasic. I'll go with defense. I spent a long time on that choice. But I will take a Vlasic. The Vlasic pickle there. Um, I'll go Prime Pack next. 
starting off silver. There's our first gold. Okay, it is not looking good here. And I'm glad I didn't do that one. I'm glad I did not do that one as the last pack. That would have been very anticlimactic. Let's hope that this one is not. So, let's hope for one of the teams that are in the final four. Okay, so, Taro, I'm not even, Jensic? Not gonna get him. Dmitri Zavgorodny. Okay. Ugh. Batelin Nussbaumer. Okay. Out of these three, obviously, I'd be the smartest decision to go for the Russian because he he has the he's the only one who can upgrade. Um, Russia is going to be playing Sweden in the semifinals Saturday. This is reported Friday night, technically Saturday morning since it's past. So, even if Russia loses, they can still win bronze. Which I feel they would have a good chance at. So, I'm liking my chances with this guy. Now, I'm Canadian, I'm going to cheer for Canada to get the gold. But, for the sake of my hut team, I, I'd like to see Russia get silver then. And speaking of my hut team, we all know I usually do it, so let's uh, show. Now, if you've seen the recent video where I got my Wayne Gretz and I also got a Nikita Kucherov, my Vron is now upgraded. Um, so, to get rid of Malkin, now for presents. Actually, I think that Russian guy up there so I didn't even think about this, but the way my lineup is going to be set now, with my boy Dimitri here, I have a full Russian line too, with Ovechkin, Dimitri, and Nikita. Zavgorodny. I feel like that should be the way to pronounce it. Maybe I'll look that up, get the pronunciation right, and then we'll slip Crosby back in at third line. Crosby is a third line center, how about that? That's depth if you fucking want it. So, yes, he has a plus two to the net front presence, so we're actually over net front presence. So, if we want to get rid of somebody who has net front presence, uh, we probably could. And then, arm day. What one did, uh, ah, he had sustained pressure, which is not one I'm close to getting. Okay, and then Vlasic. I might put Vlasic in on the right side. My right hand side is not very strong, but I... Actually, I should double check. Net front presence, we, we can get rid of net front presence, and since Subban is higher overall, we'll get rid of... <coughs> Sorry, had to cough. Uh... We'll get rid of Carlson here. And we will put Edward Vlasic. And let's put him on the first line. And then we will move Victor Hedman down to the third line with Jacob Slavin. So Vlasic, Kuba, Slavin on the left. Ekblad, Subban, and Hedman on the right. So we have a lefty on the right for the third pairing, but I'm sure that won't end the world. Goaltenders are the same. So unfortunately, didn't get the exact player I wanted out of the international choice, but I did get an 88, and I did get an 88 from one of the final four teams. So my chances of an upgrade are still very nice. Now 
now they have team of the year that I just noticed. Heard about that one online. So each of these cards are nominees and six winners will be announced on the 10th and they upgrade eight overall and then they continue to match the highest overall cards so and then their synergy points will be quadrupled and then the remaining ones can be used in sets so how are the winners chosen is it like is EA choosing the winners or hmm so it's like fantasy hockey cards except instead of goals it's just whoever gets team of the year and if it's like FIFA where they're basing it off the 2019 calendar year so the second half of last season and the first half of this season um, you can probably infer what the not what the six winners are gonna be you're definitely gonna have like a McDavid Crosby Ovechkin will be considered in there And then this week's squad battles to quickly move to that. It is the Patrick Kane week. Is there any jerseys or is it just packs? It is just packs. So perhaps I will do better in that one. Unlikely, but you never know. It all depends on how much time I have in my day to work on it. But with that being said, we had a very, very successful episode. We had got an 88 card, we got an 86 card, and that's pretty much the only <laughs> notable stuff. But still, it, I was able to upgrade two spots in my team with them, and my team is now listed as a 90 overall, so we have done good yet again. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.